What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Tacticals, your one-stop shop channel where we tickle your tech interests. Today we're going to dive into the brand new Ryzen 7000 series of the GPT WinMax 2, or also known as the WinMax 2 2023. Now, there was previous 6800U version and even the Intel uh, 1260p version. But this little thing is the latest model that's actually rocking the Ryzen 7 7840U. And trust me, it's a big upgrade, especially when it comes to iGPU and CPU performance. I know many of you have been eagerly waiting for these new AMD Phoenix Point APUs. Uh, and I'm actually really excited to show you what this little device can do. So I'd probably just say, without further ado, let's dive into the Ryzen 7000 series review. Let's get started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, the GPT WinMax 2 looks like a smaller laptop, but it actually packs all the controls you will need for gaming on the go. So underneath these magnetic covers, we have dual analog sticks and all the buttons and controls you'd expect from a portable handheld machine. I have to say that the device is larger than other handhelds on the market, but it also doubles up as a portable workstation. So it features a built-in trackpad, a backlit full QWERTY keyboard, and obviously the dual all sensor based analog sticks on each side of the laptop. It also features quad speakers and the most important thing, the stunning 10.1 inch IPS display. This device probably has everything you need in one affordable package. Personally, I've been a huge fan of the GPT WinMax 2 series with their initial 6800U, but Obviously adding the Zen 4 and RDNA 3 graphics to the mix really takes this device to a whole new level. Now let's take a closer look at the I.O. options on the GPT WinMax 2. On the left hand side we have a micro SD card slot supporting SD 3.0 protocol while the full size SD slot supports SD 4.0 protocol. If we move over to the right hand side we find two full-size USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports. Up the front, there's a fingerprint sensor for quick lo login, which is handy. And around the back, we have an array of ports, including a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, full-size HDMI out, USB 4, and another USB-C port. The thin port between the audio jack and HDMI is actually an Oculink port, similar to the Thunderbolt, but more stable for eGPUs. In fact, I will be testing an Oculus eGPU dock in an upcoming video, so hopefully you can stay tuned for that. Now let's jump into the controllers. Now let's talk about the controller setup on the GPT WinMax 2. The device features two smaller hall sensor based analog sticks that are very super accurate. The D-pad is a Vita style D-pad using dome switches instead of conductive pads. So if you do like the D-pad like me, you'll love this one. For those familiar with the GPT devices, we have a mouse and gamepad switch that allows you to switch between gamepad and mouse modes, obviously. Uh, on the right hand side, we have the start, select and menu button. And as I mentioned, the other and a whole based analog stick and the ABXY buttons. There's easy access obviously to the shoulder trigger buttons as well and the triggers are full linear and we even have some mappable buttons on the bottom. Overall this setup provides a fantastic gaming experience. Now let's actually dive into the specs of the GPT WinMax 2. It's powered by AMD Ryzen 7 7840U, which is based on Zen 4 architecture. This APU boasts 8 cores, 16 threads, with a base clock of 3.3 GHz and a boost clock of up to 5.1 GHz. 
The integrated graphics comes from the brand new AMD Radeon 780MI GPU based on RDNA 3 architecture. It features 12 CUs and can clock up to 2700 MHz in the 784U model. The system memory acts as VRAM for the integrated graphics and we have a whopping 32 gig of LP DDR4X RAM running at an impressive speed of 7500 MHz. Storage wise, we have one terabyte M2 NVMe SSD that's super replaceable and I have a video to that link about upgrading the M2 NVMe SSD and also installing the LG uh, uh, 4G LTE module. Are you ready to dive into the gaming world with the GPT WinMax 2 7840U? Let's explore how this device performs with some of the most popular games. Starting off with one of my favorites and is also a fan favorite RPG game, Nier Automata. The GPT WinMax 2 impresses right off the bat. High settings, smooth gameplay with frame rates ranging from 45 to 60 FPS, and that's without even cranking up the power to 25 watts. Moving to a more modern game, like Returnal, a slight readjustment was needed here to be able to match with the performance of Nier Automata. We had to actually drop the resolution from the highest setting of 1920x1200p to a more manageable 1200x800p. However, the gameplay remained smooth and enjoyable. I've been putting the GPT WinMax 2 to the test by playing a variety of games. Here are some of the performance benchmarks for a few fan favorites. With The Last of Us, I achieved 45 FPS at 15 watts and 70 FPS at 25 watts. For Horizon 5, the device maintained a consistent 60 FPS at both 15 and 25 watts. Red Dead Redemption 2 performed at 45 FPS at 15 watts and improved to 60 FPS at 25 watts. Horizon Zero Dawn ran at 56 FPS at 15 watts and increased to a 70 FPS at 25 watts. One can infer from these results that this compact device is capable of running demanding games like Returnal and The Last of Us Remastered comfortably, albeit with a few graphical settings scaled down, obviously. Uh, these Phoenix Point RDNA 3 APUs really deliver impressive performance for their size and power consumption. The GPT WinMax 2 is a versatile gaming machine capable of handling both the classic and modern games. The GPT WinMax 2 is not just for gamers, it's also for those who want an all-in-one machine. This device has become my go-to companion, especially when I'm traveling overseas and being able to play on a plane. It offers a complete package, allowing me to enjoy gaming while also serving as a versatile device for other activities. Aside from its primary purpose as a gaming device, the GPT WinMax 2 provides a range of additional functionalities. I can watch movies, do some work, and even engage in light video editing. This versatility makes it perfect for individuals who need a portable solution that combines entertainment, productivity, and creativity. While there are other handheld devices on the market, such as the Steam Deck, the Switch, the Ioneos, and the ROG Ally, the GPT WinMax 2 stands out by offering the benefit of both portability and laptop-like capabilities. It takes the concept of portable mobility to the next level by providing the convenience of a handheld gaming console while also incorporating the functionality of a laptop. One major advantage of the GPT WinMax 2, it's a Windows 11 operating system which significantly expands the availability of games that can be played with Windows 11. Users have access to a wide range of gaming options beyond that is typically available on dedicated gaming consoles like the Steam Deck and the Switch. Overall, the GPT WinMax 2 is an exceptional device that caters to gamers and individuals seeking an all-in-one solution. Whether you're looking to immerse yourself in gaming, enjoy multimedia entertainment, or accomplish work on the go, this device delivers a comprehensive experience. 
It's like having a Steam Deck on steroids, with the added benefit of Windows 11 operating system expanding your gaming possibilities. Overall, I'm really impressed with what the GPT WinMax 2 offers with its Ryzen 7000 series, Phoenix Point, RDNA 3 APUs. It's one powerful handheld gaming device um, that also doubles up as a workstation for travel or if you need to do any work at the last minute. I'm excited to continue testing out its other capabilities um, and obviously other games on this device. Uh, so I want to thank you for watching so be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos hopefully about all the latest techs uh, and if there's any questions that you may have about the device um, let me know in the comments below uh, that's all for today and I'll probably say again thank you for watching Tacticals stay tuned for more exciting videos